never mind what your parents told you and disregard what your friends say. From now on, the only people now on, you, you need to listen to, to are these guys. Are these guys. For the next several minutes, they'll take you on a journey through the political jungle. And when your journey is over and you're safe at home, they promise you'll be stronger, smarter, and just plain better. So buckle up, hang on to your ears, because your journey starts now. 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 It is a crisis of confidence. It is a crisis that strikes at the very heart and soul and spirit of our national will. That's for sure, and that's the uh, candidates for president. What was that? Yeah. (laughs) No kidding. That was Jim McCotta, peanut farmer, still going strong, still doing good things, building houses down there in Plains, Georgia, with Rosalind. And the grandkids. So anyways, today is Thursday, April 28th, 2016. We're in the Freedom Studios. We're on the 15th floor of Patriot Towers in Liberty City. Nate, where are we at? Indiana. Indiana wants me, but I can't go back there now. Stephen can't go back there. He's wanted in several states. Including Indiana? Indiana. And uh, that's why uh, he's not with us tonight. <laughs> Because we're in Indiana, right? And he can't be. He's here. working remotely, though. He is. You can do that. He, in he's, some jobs. he's back in uh, our home state. And when you're really bad at your job, you can always work remotely. It doesn't make a difference. Yeah, I know some. Uh, never mind. In fact, what I'm thinking is, yeah. <clears throat> I don't. Never mind. I won't. Well, I, nothing. I was going to make fun of you and how hard you work, but I won't do that. I work hard every day. Every day is hard. Just getting out of bed is hard. Yeah. <laughs> every day, I'm glad that I'm still sucking air. And above ground. Although I won't be buried. You know that, Nan? I'm going to, I, be, I'm going to be cremated. You want to bet? <laughs> you, and, you, you and my wife have it figured out, yeah, do you? Yeah, we do. Well, either way, cremate me or not, I'm ended up in uh, Otter Creek up in northern Michigan. That's where I want my last remains to be. If you have right. to float me on a Viking ship and set me on yeah. fire, I don't care. I guess. I guess. Uh, <laughs> Can we do that? Because that, be, that would be great. The, the Native Americans up there <laughs> may not like it since it's their land, but that, you know, what the hell? Yeah, they used to burn their uh, their uh, great leaders as well. <laughs> See where I put myself, My great leader, right right in there. Nate's busily at work doing Steve's job. Um, let's say, oh, you know, we were off for a couple of weeks. We apologize for that. Kind of. We had to uh, investigate. I don't. I don't regret it at all. No, we had. Uh, we had some tough times, tough times investigating the we steelhead run. No, it was horrible. On the Muskegon River yeah. in, in uh, south. That was bad. It turns out there are fish there. Southwestern Michigan. It turns out they are world, World-class uh, trout uh, river. It was a little high when we were fishing. We worked hard for the fish. Well, we you got. were. I was a little <laughs> high. No, I wasn't. No, not really. No. Uh, it was a while before we figured out where the fish were and when they started hitting. But uh, once we did, once we finally got on the was, river, <laughs> we, we were in the parking we staggered lot for out of four the bar. Hours. Yeah. We staggered out of the bar. Uh, we found one that was open at seven a.m. Yeah, and I mean, and you just fell into the river. I did. And we that, saw the fish swim. We were like, oh, I guess they're here. They're fish here. There they are. And I sobered up. Yep. <laughs> Ice cold water will do that. No, to look. You. We. I mean, really, what we had water and monsters and coffee, and that's all we drank all day. You had monsters? Mm-hmm. I didn't see one monster. Really? Except on the river that I pulled it out of the, uh, at the end of my fishing pole. Yeah, if I remember the biggest fish that got pulled in, yeah, it wasn't by you. Huh. Was it someone else? Yeah, it was the guide. He hogged them all. No, I think it was you. Uh, we had trout that were in the 24-inch range, yeah. so yeah. It was, uh, they were pretty nice. Uh, definitely the biggest steelhead I ever caught. It nice was a lot of fun. Yeah. Beautiful day. Got into the 70s that day. I saw more wood ducks than I ever remember. I, we yeah, saw, we heard about every single one. I pointed every... I saw lots of fowl. Yeah. I, I, I'm a kind of a birder guy and uh, saw a lot of different birds. Uh, Sam event went very well. We had that in Michigan at the state capitol. Um, we had several hundred people there. We had a lot of good vendors. We had a lot of fun and... I think our legal panel was a big hit. What do you think? 
Yeah, I think so. I think, I think we'll try to all do that the feedback next year. we got was positive. Yeah. I think the the attorneys had fun. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, I think they enjoyed it. You know, listen, attorneys get to talk in front of a crowd. They love that. Okay, so they, they wouldn't be attorneys. Help, at least trial me, attorneys. Help me, because I'm sure there is a distinction here. Yeah. Um, Without a difference, you're saying they did not have fun. They enjoyed it. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Yeah. So what? What's the difference exactly? <sighs> Let's see. Is it like being amused I, by a field? I I enjoy having bacon and eggs for breakfast. And it's I, not it's not fun. I don't think it's fun. I do. I think sliding down a big slide into a nice warm swimming pool is fun. That's the difference. That doesn't make any sense. So it's levels of enjoyment. Maybe. I think you could, yeah. yeah. There's, there's really gradations of enjoyment. Pretty sure they had fun because I shook one of their hands and, and he they said, that said, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, where else can you get you know free legal advice from three firearm attorneys? Google. Yeah, Google. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Just know. Go Yahoo Answers. You'll get plenty I was of advice. I was busy doing other stuff, so I don't know if they actually, with every question, they said, now, this isn't legal advice. <laughs> every single one. They, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they... But this is my they, opinion. They bookended their answer. Yeah. Before and after. This is not legal advice. What you just heard was not legal advice. But I'm going to tell you what the law says. Yeah. They did, you know, I I mean, some of it I didn't quite didn't quite uh follow them on, but that's cool. No, it was good. It was good. Well, you're good not stuff. a lawyer. Right. Yeah. Right. Did they talk legalese? No, I think they kept it down. No, for sure, yeah. No, no, I don't mean I, I mean their I, interpretations? I disagreed, yeah. 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 Okay, there, uh, there's disagreements. Yeah, so with your interpretations. But it was good and I th- Well, most lawyers do they, that. They all they, said they they'd say. come back next year, but that's a long time away. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see. They'll have lots of other excuses by then. We won't book them too early. We'll we'll spring it on them so they can't say, "Oh, I, I I'm in court that day." Which they may be. Let's see. What else? Uh, I oh, know. I know you went to a Justin Bieber concert with your preteen. You know, I did. I did do that. How was yeah. that? How was she? Uh, you talking about Bieber or? The, the entertainment. Yeah. 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 She was all right. Yeah, good. Yeah. No, it was. Okay. So uh, I didn't imagine that you could have an arena get so loud uh-huh. and high pitched. Uh-huh. Oh, high pitched. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, it turns out, though, that 10,000. Screaming girls, uh-huh. teenage girls, can be very, very, very loud. Well, see, their 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 testicles haven't dropped yet, <laughs> yeah, so they're, they, they're kind of they're soprano. That's or, probably uh, true. Know, so. Soprano. I don't, that's, yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> it was alto. very, I very loud. What is, what yeah, is it? It, bass. I think. No, they weren't basses. Yeah, uh, <laughs> it wouldn't have been so high shrieking. So here, here's here's a weird fact though. Uh-huh. Justin Bieber live. Uh huh. Actually, not that bad. You liked it. I, yeah, I did energy. find it. It was good. A lot of energy. Fireworks. And here's the cool thing about yeah. it is yeah. he actually had a real drummer oh, and guitar player, which he has, but it's all synthesized on his tracks, uh-huh. like on the CD. But uh-huh. it was like different live. Like heavy rock drums and stuff. It was decent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not too bad. So daddy had a good time. Yeah, it was all right. How much were t-shirts? I didn't stand up once. <laughs> uh, $50. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. For, for, some for 40 some for 50 Wow. But you you had a scalper. No, we stood in line and bought them like every other upstanding citizen. <laughs> Actually, we didn't. We we gave up on waiting and we're like, never mind. On the t-shirt, the really cool. Guess, yeah, the really cool thing is. Uh, I mean, there was a line getting to t-shirts. Oh, huge! It oh, wasn't geez. even a line; it was a mob. They make more money on their t-shirts than they do ticket sales. Yes. Wow. Because a t-shirt is almost as much as the ticket. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Not quite, but almost. Wow. Yeah, uh, and. Uh, I think everyone that was there bought a T-shirt. Yeah, and we decided not to wait. The good thing is, though, we get to go to another one in June. Yeah, right, because we already yeah. had the tickets for that one. Yeah, so, plenty of time to get a T-shirt. That's in uh, Indiana, where we are. It is in Indiana, where we are, right down the street. Actually, yeah. um, what's going on? I think in Indiana, somebody let a rabid dog rabid dog into yeah. the studio. It's actually uh, not in the studio. That's what's scary about it. It's Apparently peeking under the door, though. We could talk about... There was some uh, primary results on Tuesday, right? Yeah, it turns out Trump won everything and huh. uh, Hillary Clinton won everything. Yeah. Uh, well, Sanders so, won a state, right? Rhode Island or something, one of the big ones? Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. Something. I'm not sure. I, I really 
have not been following it that much, but it's looking it's looking more and more like uh, Trump's probably going to just win the thing. H H versus versus T, huh? Yeah, that Hillary yeah, versus that's Trump. It, that's what it, that's what it looks like. And unless, unless they do something, you know, funky with the delegates, which they could do, I suppose. I just don't want Hillary to win, and I'm not really necessarily a Trump fan. All those Trumpies out there. Trumpies? Trumpies. Is that what it is? I think we'll call them Trumpies. Trumpies? Yeah. <clears throat> that, so, yeah. Um, we'll call Hillary's liars. Well, I don't know if they're necessary liars. How about dumbasses? Yeah, <laughs> that, that would be good. Um, I, we could apply that yeah. to any of them, though, really, right? Well, hey, something that has anybody hasn't, that votes is a sucker, right? Something that hasn't happened in like forty years, at least for the Republicans. Ted Cruz oh. announced a running mate. I, I was going to say, you know, I'll well, never mind <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah. But yeah, Ted Cruz uh, before the primary election, even first time in like forty years that they've done that. You know what? That the, you know what that. his followers are called? Cruzies, cruisers. Ooh, cruisers. Can we not do all this stuff though? Because we're turning in and it's always been around, but it's only recently started to annoy me where we take famous people and then the people that follow that person, we give them a weird name with the famous person's name in it. Like, like the Nate and Brian. Um, what, what are our followers? The called? Nate and Brianies. The Brianies. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Do you <laughs> actually? Because you're yeah, out no, of it. No, it's, it, I think they're at otter at otters. Oh, at otters. <laughs> Just the or not, no, really, nutters. it annoys it annoys me every everything right. The believers, the people that follow, uh, what's his face, the uh, female singer the, Bieber, the directioners, the oh. one directioners, all that crap. I don't know. There's all kinds of yeah, it, and, it, and then there's couples names, right? You it know, annoys I mean, they me. They put the two names together for couples, like Shamey. Yeah, Shamey. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shamey. Yeah. How you digging the Shamey now? And uh, <laughs> the. Uh, I think the Ad Otters. The Ad Otters. Yeah, we have yeah, a little otter. A can little we not, otter as a, as can a we just logo. not do it, though? No, I think we should. I want to. <laughs> okay, well, we'll and, have a poll. And I want, uh, if you're listening and you uh, moderately tolerate the show, check out our Facebook page. Like our page. Also, you can call in, and if you've got complaints or you want to make a comment. Steve will handle them. Uh, our number is 248-455-6337. You can also... Uh, uh, email us, right? Sure, yeah. We Talk have that, at oddshow.com. A, a lot of people email us, and, and we don't get to the comments right away. But if you call in, man, you'll get right on the air because, you know, Steve's got nothing else to do. But Well, maybe. Calls. I mean, I might ignore the call, too. I've done that. Yeah, only because you depends, know who it is. Depends yeah. on if I recognize the number. Yeah, or right. Not. It's <laughs> call <laughs> ID. I, uh, <laughs> it's Barney again. <laughs> no, I mean Bernie. Oh, if Bernie could call in. Bernie Sanders. Hey, I think. Open so line to all of the candidates. If you're listening, Mr. Yeah. Sanders, yeah, I think. Right. And he is. I think. What 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 else does he have to do with his life? He Nothing right now. Anything he's, worthwhile. Tr he's trying to get what to I'm sleep, saying, and this will put him to sleep. What I'm saying is that we can help his numbers in Indiana. We're right here. We're right here. We'll, I'll, I'll, and I'll I bet Bernie calls it. I bet Bernie calls it a basketball hoop and not a ring. Do you even know what that's in reference to? No. Ted Cruz was in Indiana campaigning, and he was talking about the Hoosiers, and he said, and you know when they make that basketball ring instead of hoop? And they all went, oh. And then he <laughs> well, came on, a... and he says, you know, when you, you're on the road, <laughs> and you're really tired, yeah, and, and, I think, and you say a lot of things. I think that's probably true, first I, of all. I, I think so. I think you get tired, you say things. Second of all, uh one of the qualities that I'm looking for in our next president is not whether he knows anything about sports. Hey, you want right? the guy to be relatable. The only thing that our current president kind of might know anything about is, is hooping sports. Yeah. By the way, not ever been a good basketball player. No, he was. Which it, is why.